A while ago, I had tried to make a cooking game. I actually tried to make a multitude of different cooking games, but I never really finished them, whether they were for a game jam or for myself. But recently, after some community polls, mm. I felt that it was time for me to make another game. The game would be built in parallel with all my other projects that you see, and it shouldn't really push me too far off of what you normally see me do. This was gonna be a couch co-op multiplayer game where you had to cook different things and serve allergies to bad guys. So like if they had a peanut allergy, you'd give them peanuts to hurt them. <sighs> This time while I'm making a game, I want to test something, especially this week. I want to compare Godot and Unity and see if either of them are better or worse than the other, especially for this game. This is an especially interesting question for me because the last time I tried to actually make a game was since before the runtime fee situation. And now that the runtime fee is gone, I want to see if it really is worth me switching or if I should just stick with what I know already. And really to do all of that and to make the game, I should really just get started. The first step in making a game is to install the game engine. So I went to the Godot website and downloaded the installer. Once I extracted the download and opened it up, I realized that I was very, very wrong. Godot is so small and efficient that it wasn't an installer. The small file that I was given was actually the executable of the engine itself. In fact, something that I loved about this project was how smooth Godot felt on both my laptop and on my computer. And this was definitely a consideration. My computers were not the most powerful out there, even if they weren't the weakest. Running programs like OBS for capture or even just a lot of Chrome tabs can be taxing when you have a game engine open. So having Godot run so fast was very, very interesting. But performance surprises aside, I needed to learn how to use Godot. The first thing I needed to do was to see if I could start the game. When I did this, I immediately realized that I was missing the camera. This is where I should probably mention that I was not trying to follow a tutorial, because that would be cheating. However, I am going to be using this amazingly organized and helpful documentation, and also some surface level Googling to guide me through. I quickly found that the solution was to add a camera to the scene node. Nodes are like game objects, but not exactly the same. I'm still wrapping my head around the, how they work and the differences, but they are intuitive enough for me to keep going. After I got the camera working, I decided to add a few objects to try and make the floor be made out of floor. The basic idea for now was basically to see if I can get rigid bodies and collisions working, because if I couldn't do that, then uh, this, none of this was gonna work. And also, it was very important for me to throw mushrooms down the bad guy's throat. After learning about how rigid bodies, collisions, and meshes work, I was able to get multiple objects into the scene, even move the game around a little bit, and it looked pretty good. Now, I spent over an hour on this part alone, but I feel like it was so much more, and I feel like I accomplished a lot in Godot than even if I did this in Unity. That's probably because I'm using it for the first time, but I think it's important to mention. I started by making the camera, lighting, environment, and the floor match one for one with a little bit of a reference photo that I found, just so I could try and make it look right. It was time to add a 3D character. This is Butt Boy. He has a butt. I also went ahead and stole some animations from Mixamo, a great resource to grab some testing animations. It does require an Adobe login and you upload your model, but it's really nice to see. And also it rigs your character for you, which is really easy. I then started learning how to move the characters in Godot. I did some research and found out that doing input from multiple controllers had the same problems that Unity had. So I decided to break my own rules and find someone who would already solve the problem. There was no reason to reinvent the wheel, especially when people have had the issues that I'm trying to solve. I found this tutorial and it helped me get from the input to a multiple player script using device indexes and all that weirdness. From here, I had both characters moving. Now I needed to add the animations and I stole them. So we should really try and figure out how they actually work. This was actually not that hard. All I needed to do was tell the model that the animation should be on or off, depending on how I was moving in the script. And with some quick settings changes for looping using Godot's docs, it was done. I had two characters running around and they were both animated. Now I did decide to stop here and I started working on the Unity version. That way I can directly compare them one to one. So I spent a few minutes rebuilding the project real quick and this is a side by side comparison. And I was able to throw it together really quickly. But that was because I knew how Unity worked, like the back of my hand. 
and because I already have the assets too. So I guess we should probably compare them a little bit more directly. The first thing that I want to say is that we are not really comparing the two games, because they are not really even a prototype yet. The movement is buggy on both, and I truly believe that you could build the exact same thing in either engine. So we're really going to be comparing the engines as tools. The first thing is the structure of the game. Unity uses game objects, and Godot uses nodes. They are not exactly one-to-one, -one, but they have many similarities, and they make sense on their own. Separately, components in Unity are just extra nodes in Godot, so a rigid body is like its own object, whereas in Unity, it's an attribute. Those subtle differences are not a positive or a negative, but there are quirks that you need to find out for each engine. The next thing is how the engines handle materials and textures. For both engines, the materials are very simple. However, it was much easier in Godot to find resources and tutorials to make effects happen. A good example is how I got this toon shader effect onto my Godot models. It was something on a website called Godot Shaders, and this is an amazing resource that doesn't have a one-to-one -one match in Unity. Separately, asset management is similar in Unity and Godot. It's just sort of a folder and you get to throw things in there. So the last consideration was how is coding in GDScript? Both engines have their way of handling things, but overall there's a lot of similar ideas, like an update function, start functions, and so on. So writing the code wasn't really an issue, it's just applying what you already know. Both have a good input system that can be expanded for local or online play, and overall I actually don't really have anything bad to say about either engine in this experience. I didn't really have an issue. However, there's also one final consideration, and that is the time commitment that I had to spend in Godot. From start to player movement took me about four hours, and in Unity, it really only took me like 10 minutes. Again, this is because I know Unity inside and out, but it isn't consideration when my time is split between school, work, and YouTube. Overall, this was an amazing experiment. I'm gonna finish this game, definitely, but I think that Unity is my best option. Not because I really want to use Unity, but because I just don't have the time to learn a new engine. There are many projects that I would like to do, like building my own motion capture studio, 3D scanning objects, and even building my own interactive arcade games. This was a wonderful experience, and I will be switching to Godot in the long term. An open source, massively supported community is something I cannot pass up on. So overall, you should use Godot, but I need to focus on school and the channel at the same time. So you're gonna be seeing Unity from me at least for this semester and for this game. But now it's time to keep building the game and also start working on some of those other massive projects that I have in the works. So I'll see you next week where we're going to be building my own motion capture studio out of an Xbox Kinect.